James, um, if you've been shooting for long? I haven't actually. I, I, I've been shooting um, on and off for, for an extended period of time, but never never consistently. So I'd probably say uh, about a, a year in total, probably. So we've got a world-class rugby player and a world-class shooter out there uh, trying it out. What, what did you learn today? Yeah, well, I learned, obviously, what he's pioneered a very uh, simple technique, you know, uh, it sounds simple, obviously where you look and where you move is where you're going to shoot and just obviously getting my action a, a lot slicker, getting the gun starting down low and moving it in very slowly with three simple steps and first clay went up, I missed it, everything else I managed to hit and it was literally just following his technique so again like in rugby everything has a process, if you get the process right you break it down, hopefully the idea is it works in the end. Uh, you're doing great work endorsing shooting. You're also here to endorse Musto. You, you, you're part of their team. Tell me about that. Um, yeah, I'm an ambassador for Musto. I've been uh, an ambassador for, for uh, two years now. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously they're a fantastic clothing range. You know, they're, they're, they're synonymous with, with making great great gear and great sort of stuff for shooting. They've got every item you could possibly wish for. And also, for some of my size, they fit, they, they fit the bigger gentleman. You've got a huge wealth of shooting sports to choose from. What, what would you really like to do next? Um, I think I think you know deer stalking is where I would like to go go into. I, I haven't uh, had an opportunity to do that because you know obviously with uh, being with Musto, I've done a lot of game shooting, done a lot of clay pigeon shooting. But in terms of deer stalking, even though they've got the gear and the, the equipment for that, I just haven't had the opportunity to go away because you need to be a little bit committed to that. It's not ideal in the middle of training weeks to be sort of shaping through a wood or up in the Scottish Highlands. I mean, his first shot, he he uh, he didn't have really have much of a technique, but I showed him a, a simple method on how to do it, and he just picked it up. And, and did it straight away and never missed another target. The thing is, you know, with someone who's got that ability to coordinate, it's very easy to teach in all fairness because it's all, it's all related really. Iron hand coordination, when you hit the ball or kick the ball, you keep your eye on it. Catching the ball, you keep your eye on it. All you gotta do is keep your eye on the target. A simple process and technique enables them to shoot. And James just did what he's told basically and uh, got the result. Yeah, great.